All right, today we're going to talk about Arch Linux because Arch Linux is dangerous and you shouldn't have it running on your computer. That's right, I fucking said it. Um, now I'm going to lose my train of thought. So the thing with Arch, right, um, it's a rolling release distribution, but it doesn't do anything particularly well. Um, now I know that's going to sound really weird because like it's got the AUR and I don't really consider the AUR part of Arch because it's not officially supported and it can cause breakages. But that isn't the only thing that can cause breakages. The main thing that causes breakages is system fucking D. Now you might be thinking to yourself, oh, you use Void Linux, so you fucking hate system D already. It's like, yes, that is true. Um, I would never run a rolling release distribution with system D on hardware that I cared about. I've tried this before with Debian. Um, Debian unstable and I ended up breaking my external hard drive and I think I installed Gerudo Linux on this computer this very computer I'm running and it completely wiped my UEFI yes that can happen here's why um, so Leonard Pottering has said this isn't a bug but when you're updating Grub systemd will actually mount your EFI variables this is a problem because if those variables, like if your grub update fails, which happens a lot with grub these days, um, if those variables are wiped, your BIOS will seriously corrupt itself. And if you're on a, something like a laptop that doesn't have a backup BIOS, you just bricked your computer. That is that is not good. Um, now I think Arch uses system deboot, so you shouldn't have a problem with this. But if you're using an Arch derivative, where it gets grub updates and they are not held back like zero linux xero linux um what will happen is you're gonna get a grub update you're gonna wonder why your computer stops posting like entirely you won't even see a bio screen there's no way of fixing this now luckily my motherboard did have a um a backup bio so if you leave it on for long enough it'll reflash itself and it'll work again but <sighs> I have a hard time recommending Arch specifically. Like, let's say you did actually have a system D based rolling distribution, um, like OpenSUSE, Tumbleweed, or something, even though I've had tons of issues with that, so I don't know why people say it's super stable. But, um, anyways, OpenSUSE, Tumbleweed at least works for the most part, so I'll give them that. But, um, having Arch, I wouldn't recommend Arch at all to anybody ever because their maintainers are fucking morons um i mean i know that's gonna sound very you know stupid coming from somebody that's an end user but oh my god the decisions they make are absolutely fucking retarded um i haven't used arch in a while but i can't i want to say it's the arch install maintainers that um they decided uh they would ship with the kde version uh, if you install KDE with Arch install, it'll install Discover, which is a separate package. But um, what it'll do is it won't install the back end for Discover to work. And they do that intentionally because they want you to have Discover, but they don't want it working because you're not supposed to use it. But they thought the logic was, you know, if um, if people were uh, if people didn't see Discover installed, they'd be like, oh, why isn't Discover installed? Instead, now they file a bug report that says, hey, Discover's installed, but it doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> and they get like a hundred of those requests a month or some shit. Uh, I was one of them and I had to ask because their FAQ was not very clearly laid out, you know? Um, but now the reason why I say the Arch maintainers are idiots is because um, their packages are not super well tested before they go out. And this is kind of the nature of rolling release distributions. Void and Tumble, we do this really well, but Arch does not. Like, packages come broken all the time, and then I've actually had installs of Arch where they lasted, like, six days before everything just catastrophically failed for no fucking reason. I mean, like, I don't hardly ever touch system files. I don't modify my system. I don't do anything that would cause user error at all. I just fucking install the thing and I let it run. And I thought Arch would be great for that, you know, where at least if I'm running a very minimalist or system... Um, I wouldn't have problems with like shit just breaking, but no, that was not the fucking case. Um, so like when people ask me, you know, they say, oh, Arch is great. You know, I've never had any problems with it. I say, yeah, good for fucking you. But you know, I cannot say the same for any of my computers that I run Arch on. I mean, I've tried Arch so many different times and I used to run it way back before Arch install was a thing. 
I know that sounds like a long time ago. No, it wasn't. <laughs> but that was like around the start of my, you know, Linux quote journey. Um, is uh, I tried. I I installed Arch the manual way. I've done that before. It's it really. I don't know why people say that you should use that over install script because you don't really change anything that would actually matter when you're debugging. All it does is like if you've used Gen two before, you already know how to fucking maintain your own your own system. You don't need you don't need to install Arch manually to know that Arch itself broke because like the install process on Arch is super easy. You know, it takes only a few minutes really to read through the wiki and do all the configuration and stuff until you get to installing xord where the wiki just decides to fuck itself and uh you have to like really look hard for documentation after that point i had the same problem on void i couldn't i i just ended up going with the xfce live installer because reading the documentation on getting xord or wayland set up was fucking annoying uh and the install instructions are all crystal clear up until you get to post install and that's when everything falls apart. Same thing with Gen 2. But Gen 2 at least got me through it, you know? Um, the Arch Wiki just kind of <laughs> just kind of left me dry. Uh, you know, high and dry there. Um, no, that's not to say that they don't have good documentation because the Arch Wiki is pretty good. But when I got to post install, I was like, man. Uh, but anyways, uh, this is just how can I recommend Arch when I don't feel like I don't feel secure in their operating system, you know, where I just expected to break for no reason and I would have no fucking idea how to fix that. People always say, you know, um, oh yeah, Arch is great because it breaks a lot, but I learn how to fix things. And it's like, I didn't fucking learn how to fix anything. Shit just broke. <laughs> and then I switched to a different distribution because shit would just break for no fucking reason. Um, but that's really all I had to say on that, you know, um, I really just can't argue against Arch enough, and I really hate the status it's gotten as such a high-profile distribution because it's maintained by fucking retards, and, um, it just doesn't really do anything other than, like, you can install it super quick because you do it from the command line, um, and you can even automate that, um, that's like the only selling point that I have for Arch anymore. It just doesn't do anything well at all. It's not super minimal. It installs way too many fucking packages um, compared to something like Void Linux, you know? Um, it uses Systemd, which is already a deal breaker right there for a rolling release distribution. Um, so like, what's your selling point? What do you, what do you do differently that really makes you stand out? Um, and really the selling point is the fucking AUR, which you shouldn't be using it all, honestly. If I, if I could recommend anything, it's don't fucking use the AUR because half the fucking packages are just broken. I mean, like, the manifests or build files or whatever, the make files are, or... What the fuck do they call those again? Anyways, the build instructions are broken half the time. I couldn't get shit working on Manjaro. Like, even Spotify failed to build. And that's been a bug for, like, months, but it would build on, like, Vanilla Arch, even though I found a solution on the on the forums, I think, um, that showed you, like, you change one line in the build file and it fucking fixes everything. But the AUR is maintained also by idiots. Um, and yeah, I just, I can't, I can't say that the AUR really makes any sense anymore now that everything is a flat pack, you know? So, like, even if your distro doesn't have good repos, you can at least... <laughs> You can at least get a flat pack of just about everything you could ever want. So what does the AUR do for you now? Like, what are you really getting out of it? Other than broken packages? <laughs> That'll completely crash your system. Um, but that's really my whole rant right there. I can't, I, I can't recommend Arch in good faith to anybody at all. And I always get a bit of indication when somebody distro hops from Arch where they've been telling me this whole time, you know, oh, it's great, it's great, it's great. I love it. I love I love the packages. I love the AUR. And then they realize that their shit's breaking for no reason. And they're like, oh, yeah, now I use, uh, now I use Debian Stable. <laughs> and it just makes me wish that people knew about better rolling release distributions like Tumbleweed or like Void. And honestly, I'd say I like Void a lot better over Tumbleweed, but that's my bias from actually using the damn thing. Um, I just don't feel like art serves a purpose anymore, and I really kind of hate this idea that um, 
it's the super elite, you know, distribution for people that are really good at Linux because I never found any real use for it, um, especially after Flatpak became mainstream. Uh, the AUR stopped making sense for me. The um, Other than the installer being really fast, that's really about all I got from it. Um, you know, I could boot up into a live environment in like five minutes or whatever, like install fully installed and have a desktop environment and everything but I just don't really see the purpose of Arch anymore and I don't really understand why other people don't see that now it still gets this huge this good reputation as being the coolest thing ever and it really isn't uh, at least I've never seen it um, but anyways that's all that is all I wanted to say before I repeat the same idea 20 times see ya